Welcome in this Bybit conditional order tutorial. In this short tutorial, I'm going to explain you exactly how the conditional order works on Bybit. To find the conditional order, you go to the trading interface of Bybit, and then here you can see limit order, market order, and then you have here TPSL, which stands for take profit, stop loss. You click on that, and below there you have the conditional order type. And a conditional order is a order that will be executed on a certain condition, and that condition is the price. That's why a conditional order comes along with a trigger price so the trigger price is the price that needs to be met by Bitcoin in order for this order to be executed so let's say we want to do something whenever Bitcoin is reaching 55,000 US dollars and what would we like to do well let's say whenever Bitcoin is reaching this specific level we would like to open a limit order at 54,500 right so this limit order will not enter the order book unless bitcoin is reaching 55,000 us dollars so the moment bitcoin reaches this trigger price this order will be placed into the order book you can select the quantity and then you click on buy long bitcoin you can do that also with a short position of course so let's say bitcoin is reaching 54,000 us dollars and you think okay the moment we reach 54,000 us dollars i think we are going to see a big liquidation event and we are going to see way lower levels so you want to open a market order the moment we are reaching that level you don't want to enter a trade right now but the moment we reach 54,000 us dollars you want to enter a short position so then you set the trigger price at 54,000 us dollars then you set it on market order which means that it will be executed directly the moment we, re we reach that trigger price and here you can select the quantity and then you can click on sell short once the conditional orders are placed you can find them below your current orders and then you click on conditional orders that's where you can adjust them as well do take in mind that when you place a conditional order the order is not yet filled or put in the order book unless the trigger price is met this is a very important thing the trigger price is always the first condition that needs to be met before that order is being executed why why would anybody in their right mind use a conditional order well guys there are a couple of reasons for that because sometimes you expect a reaction of the price of bitcoin after it meets a certain price or sometimes you can get a confirmation after it meets a certain price which you want to execute on which you want to do something with so for example if you think that bitcoin is going to see a huge liquidation event if we're going to break below fifty thousand us dollars then you can set for example a conditional order to short at 49,990 the moment we break 50k uh, you open a short but yeah, if we don't break that level you don't want to be in the trade so you're not opening the trade right now so that is that these are some ways how you could use that conditional order for your trading strategy and I use the Bybit exchange since its inception and I know the exchange in and out and I made a lot of tutorials on Bybit. I made a playlist. I would highly recommend you to watch the playlist because I will cover topics like copy trading, but not your basic copy trading, but how to maximize your profits with copy trading set settings and minimize your risk. And I also share a secret how you can almost get away with paying zero fees on Bybit but still opening market orders. This is a tool that almost no one knows. These types of information I'm sharing in that playlist. So if you want to get to know Bybit better, make sure to watch this playlist. If you don't have an account yet on Bybit, make sure to join with the affiliate link down below in the description. That's very much appreciated. Guys, thank you for watching. Drop a thumbs up and see every single one of you in the next video.